Nobody knows why planes can fly. Sure, the Wright brothers flew all the way back in 1903, and modern planes fly at 80% of the speed of sound. But even though we have a great practical understanding of flight, we don't yet have a simple explanation for why wings create lift. I know that that sounds unbelievable, but it's true. Every kid has an intuitive understanding of lift. If you put your hand out the car window, the air deflects down as it hits your hand which pushes your hand up, right? That's true for planes, but that force from below the wing is actually less than half of a plane's lift. Most of a plane's lift comes from a pulling force on top of the wing as opposed to a pushing force from below. And no one can simply explain why. The most common explanations rely on Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle says that fast-moving fluids generate lower pressure than slow-moving fluids. So Bernoulli's principle applied to flight would say that if there was faster-moving air going above the wing than below it, there would be a low-pressure zone on top and the wing would be pulled upwards. So the question is, is there actually that faster-moving air? Modern wings have a shape called an airfoil, which is basically like a teardrop cut in half. Given this shape, the air flowing over the top of the wing has to take a longer path. So if a pair of atoms of air split up, the one going above the wing is going to move faster to meet up with its friend on the other side. So therefore, faster speed, lower pressure, and lift. We got it, right? Unfortunately, there's some problems here. The first and most obvious one is that there's actually no reason why those buddies would have to meet on the other side of the wing. It's just made up. There's no actual reason why. But second, this theory would say that the crazier the shape on top of the wing, the more lift it would generate. And of course, that isn't true. But the third and best reason why this explanation doesn't work is that it's disproven in practice. It's true that the air over the wing moves faster, but this equal transit time theory actually understates that difference by about 10 times. So Bernoulli people might actually be onto something, but they haven't yet explained where the faster airflow comes from. The second explanation depends on the Venturi effect. The Venturi effect is basically a fancy name for what happens when you pinch a hose and spray your friends with water. If you constrict the flow of a fluid, you're going to increase the speed at which it flows. So the theory is the curved shape on top of an airfoil constricts that flow, makes it flow faster, and therefore lift. But unfortunately, this just isn't true. Theoretically speaking, there's nothing actually pushing on the top of the airflow on top of the wing, so there's nothing constricting and causing that sort of pinching effect. But in practice, again, this is just plain old disproven by our observations. Any explanation that relies on an asymmetric shape of an airfoil is just wrong, because planes can fly upside down. I promise, I am not just picking the worst explanations. These are actually ones that you'll find in ChatGPT and in textbooks and on other YouTube videos. These are the reasons why people think that wings generate lift, but they're either wrong or just not complete or good enough explanations. The best and most complete explanation that I've found, unfortunately, sounds like this. Explaining lift, the stretching of Newton's third law, the formulation automatically enforces a condition that the fluid is, of course, not a continuous material, but it flows as if it were one. It's an extra bit of physics that is not inherent in the equation. So I'm sorry to admit it, but I actually can't think of a simple way to explain why wings generate lift. Nobody can, at least not yet. The more that I've learned about science and engineering, the more I've learned about the limits of human knowledge. Now, we understand a lot. We know how to cure the sick, we know how to connect people, we know how to make sand think, but I think it's easy to overstate how much we actually understand what's going on here. There are lots of things where we don't have a great simple explanation. We don't know how to explain how wings generate lift. And in my book, as David Deutsch would say, the sum of human knowledge is just the sum of our best explanations. So there are two facts here that are incredibly motivating to me. The first one is that the world is explainable. But the second one is that we are not yet done creating great explanations. It is a big, complicated world out there, and there's still so much left to explain. I hope we can start in the comments section. I want you to tell me, why do you think wings generate lift? I haven't found an explanation yet that I think really satisfies me and explains the entire thing, but if you know of one, let me know. I would love to learn it.